All right, we have everything in Valley of Repose. We have everything in Awakening Wood. We have everything in Perplexing Pool. All that's left is to take on the final world, the infamous, horrifying, Wistful Wild. Let's dive on in. If there was a Pikmin 2 ROM hack, would I ever play one? No. Not on stream. Nope. This is a one-time deal. Alright, welcome to Wistful Wild, where everything's gonna try to kill you. I like how in this game there are four worlds, and each world corresponds to a different season. So this is the autumn-themed world. So right off the bat... <sighs> there's something here that we're gonna need all 100 purple Pikmin for. Oh man, some of them are Leaf Pikmin. That sucks. So Wistful Wild is just a pretty nasty world. There are a lot of tough enemies here. And it's got the toughest caves in the whole game. Bar none. Okay, that's enough of rocking at the pebbles. Alright, this right here. You need a thousand Pikmin to carry this, so... In other words, you need 100 purple Pikmin. And that's going to take most of the day for them to carry that back, so let's do some exploring. Hermit Cromad over there. Decorated cannon larva. Ooh, a lot of nectar. Yep, <laughs> I know there are Pikmin 2 ROM hacks out there. I think there's the one I've, who, gameplay I've seen is like the Lands of Nightmare or something. I'm, <laughs> it's like the first cave before you get purple Pikmin throws like five Emperor Bullblaxes at you. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. Gatling Groink over here, just chilling. My arch enemy, the Yellow Wally Wog. Yeah, as you can see, this this world's just kind of nuts. We got Wivering Bullhogs and Triple Creeping Chrysanthemums. Hey, Luke! Welcome, welcome! Nice to see ya. Welcome to the stream. We're finishing things up. We've just entered the Wistful Wild. We've gotten everything in the other three stages. And right now my Purple Pikmin are carrying that barbell back to base. I'm just kind of seeing what I can explore here with just the captains. I would love to hear them announce Pikmin 4 this year. That would be great. The time is ripe. And apparently the Switch still has a lot of its lifespan left, based on what Nintendo has said, so... I'd be excited for that. I'm gonna kill a Gatling Groink just with Olimar. <laughs> Actually, he's not doing a bad job just by himself. I'm impressed. What would I want to see in Pikmin 4? You know, they haven't made green Pikmin yet. I want to see green Pikmin. That would be nice. I would be cool if they wanted to bring the caves back as well. I like the cave system. It gets ridiculously difficult in this game, but that doesn't mean it was a bad idea. I, I don't know, because I don't have an uncle that works at Nintendo. But I know, like, the Switch's lifespan is apparently, like, either only halfway over, or, like, not even halfway over, according to Nintendo, so... What would the green Pikmin do? That... that's an interesting question. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they could, like, climb trees or something. 3,000 Pocos for the Doomsday Apparatus. Well, gotta get swole somehow. Honestly, my best idea was, like, yeah, they, they can do something with, like, plants. I think would be what I would do. Yeah, they can mature to flower the fastest as well. That could be a good idea. Alright, let's get out 20 blues. Take on the Hermit Cromad. Nicely done. Alright. Hey, stir bed. Oh, oh. 
smell you later. All right, break down the gate. Shouldn't take you too long, right? And I probably... Pikmin 4 definitely will have potential. I mean, there hasn't been a bad Pikmin game yet out of the three numbered ones, so I'd, I'd have high hopes for it. Whether or not those hopes will be dashed to pieces is another story, but, I, you know, I think Nintendo's done a very good job with the free Pikmin games that came before it, so... Honestly, as long as we have at least one new type of Pikmin that does something cool, and, like, some cool new enemies, I'm down for it. Maybe a new type of spray as well. Because Pikmin 2 has the two types of sprays. Pikmin 3 only had the spicy spray. Felt like a little bit of a downgrade. Destroy that and drain the water, men. <laughs> well done. So these just have berries under them, so I'm not even going to bother beating them up. Oh, hey! It's a watery bull hog. Oh, that's right. We still take damage from them because it's water, and we don't have a waterproof suit. That was too close. Why did the Pikmin take so long to kill the uh, Shearwig? It was weird. Alright, so now we got to go and destroy the electric fence. Or we can explore more of the level of our blue Pikmin, which I think that's what we'll do. I'll... I can try. Are there two of these guys? That could have gone badly. And because I haven't unlocked any of the caves yet, I can't even get a checkpoint in the middle of the day. There we go. Okay. We'll deal with my we'll deal with my arch nemesis first. Okay, maybe we won't deal with my arch nemesis first. Ah, oh, the Gowling Grunk is going in the water! Get away from him. Oh, sweet. And he gives us a bitter spray. And if you kill... If you kill the Gowling Groink when he's bitter sprayed, he doesn't leave a corpse behind, and therefore he can't regenerate his HP. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice job, as always. Build that bridge for me. Oh, wait. Those were two bitter sprays, I think. Scared Artie is gray. There is no disgusted Artie. Artie is always disgusted. Alright. <laughs> More of them creepy chrysanthemums. I like how large this world is. I, I, I actually really do like the overworld of this. Like, there's some tough enemies, but, like, that's good. <laughs> there should be tough enemies. Oh, man. The yellow Pikmin... I do not have a lot of flower Pikmin for the yellows. Oof. There is no pink Artie. Pink Artie is my sister.
Smear him. Alright, where did all the boos go? <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, I almost threw one out of bounds. That was crazy. <laughs> Smitten Artie. Well, we won't be seeing that one anytime soon. <laughs> Sorry, Artie has Artie doesn't believe in Valentine's Day. It it doesn't. It, it's not that I don't celebrate. It's that I don't even believe it exists. I've heard rumors about this mysterious Valentine's Day holiday, but I don't think it's real. <laughs> think about it. Why are there basically no Christmas? But Christmas. <laughs> Why are there basically no specials on TV for Valentine's Day? There are Christmas specials constantly. There are Easter specials, but there are basically no Valentine specials. I don't believe in Cupid. Well, all those, all them Greek gods, they had their problems. So, come on, Yellow Pikmin. I wonder how Yellow Pikmin will change in the new Pikmin game. Yellow Pikmin change a bit in every single Pikmin game. <laughs> like, they were not immune to electricity in Pikmin 1. Wait, where's the ever Yellow Pikmin? Well, look at you! Didn't you, you thought you could get away with not doing work? You know, Yellow Pikmin, those who don't work don't eat. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Get off the pine cone. I hate how close to death we were there. I believe up here is... yep. Up there is one of the holes. No. No, no, no. Get out of there. Okay, that was way too close. <laughs> Apparently that slope was easy to fall down, but not the other ones. I cheated death. Okay, no, no, no. We're not carrying that back in time. Oh, no. I love how fast white flower pigmen are. Look at how fast they are. It's it's phenomenal. Yeah. Doodle 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 doodle. All right, that was a productive first day at Wistful Wild. We only grabbed one treasure, but we opened up a lot of the world, so that's pretty cool. Nah, there's no rainbow, Artie. Artie can be any cover of the rainbow, but not all at once. 
It's today's report. We got free pops and pokos from the Doomsday Apparatus. <laughs> it's a very boring day. At my age, reminiscing is wonderful. Louie, do you remember the hill behind our house? You hated to play outside, so I made you eat bugs and plants. Ah, memories. Of <laughs> what? <laughs> Louie's aunt sounds like not a very good aunt. You don't want to. You don't want to play. You don't want to play outside. You're now. Now you're gonna play outside and eat bugs. There you go. Okay, only one. Um, only five treasures above ground in Wistful Wild. I think we can do one more day. I'm not going to do any of the caves, but we can at least get some of the treasures above ground. <laughs> How wonderful. Alright. I'm going to take my 40 uh, white Pikmin, because they're fast at carrying stuff back. And then I'm going to take a whole bunch of purple Pikmin. And I'll leave the president behind. He can handle himself. Nope. You don't get to play in the pebbles today. Sorry. Oh, alright. We can destroy these. If it doesn't take too long. I no, I have not reset the system nearly as much of this stream as I expected I would. Like obviously I've had to reset it a few times. But the Frontier Cavern and the subterranean complex went much better than I full what could have ever imagined. I was terrified of those two caves. I thought em I thought pregnant Empress Bulblax was going to murder me. I thought there were going to be way more bomb rocks in the subterranean complex. Actually, if we play our cards right, we might finish this next week. No promises, but All right, you guys can take that back. I know there's nothing in the way. Also, Wistful Wild has my favorite overworld music in the game by far. So I can't remember if this is the final dungeon or the first dungeon. I am detecting the howls of countless creatures in the hole ahead. It is nearly deafening. Sound analysis indicates a wide variety of creatures nesting here. It is a melting pot of life. Mr. President, be extremely careful. Olimar, your job is to protect his life at all costs. So, which cave is this? This is the Hole of Heroes. Okay. This is not the final dungeon, but that's the dungeon that I'm pretty sure is going to be the toughest one in the game. That is the longest dungeon in the game, at the very least. So yeah, definitely worried about that one. No! My Pikmin! Don't scare me like that. I thought something had gotten eaten by a white Pikmin. We got the pine cone for 15 pokos. The conifer spire. I am not doing any more dungeons this stream. Not happening. Take this PD Piranha. The Creeping Chrysanthemums do look like PD Piranha a little bit.
Man, those guys have a lot of HP. Here, you guys break that down. Oh, that's right. Ch Choo Choo's way back at the base. Alright, what else can we explore around here? There might not be much. Oh, there's a treasure over here, I think. Must be buried at the top? Maybe not. Get back here, all y'all. Okay. Bring some more of the whites back. Plunder the booty. Arr. I think we've actually explored most of the overworld of Wistful Wild. Oh yeah, some of these have ultra spicy berries, some have ultra bitter berries, and some have both. That's very interesting. Wasn't this area the landing site of Pikmin 1? I believe it is! I believe this world is a combination of the impact site from Pikmin 1 and the final trial of Pikmin 1. It's like a hybrid, but it takes place in autumn. Which is cool. I like the different seasons in the game. Oh wait, oh I'm stupid. There was just an acorn that was dropped. Um, you're not gonna go for a dangerous route, are you? Okay, no you're not. No you're not. Good, 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 good. Very good. I think in here might be the final cave. Maybe. Possibly. I'm, I'm just glad that we got rid of all of the annoying enemies along the way. Oh, not all of them. This guy's not too annoying, though. Wow, the leaf pigment are slow. Alright, Mr. Acorn! The Armored Nut. Okay, I'll try to get better at posting stuff in Discord and on the community page. Oh, hey, it's another nut. Oh, no. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. <sighs> All right, which dungeon is this? I think this is the first one. Perhaps you will find Louie in here, and yet my CPU is on edge. Ludicrous dangers await. No, this is the final one. Beasts lurk at the bottom of the deepest, darkest, most foul, sinister, horribly vile pit. Do you still wish to enter? Of course you do. Courage is our true treasure. Along with forks. Never bitter spray, wow. And that is the Dream Den. That's the final dungeon. I'm just gonna drink that. I don't need to duplicate it. Dream Den is not much fun. Alright. Let's get the toadstool up. Beautiful. Carry that back. You guys carry that acorn back. Man, I seriously have been underestimating how freaking fast white Pikmin are. It's ludicrous. Okay, so that's the Dream Gen, that's the whole heroes, yada yada yada.
Where's the other one? We haven't found the first hole yet. Oh, yeah. There's no question. Resets are plenty in every cave in this world. Ah, here comes the mushroom. 30 pokos. The anti-hiccup fungus. I'm pretty sure that if that cures your hiccups, it's going to cure it by giving you something worse. We still have one above-ground treasure. Mm. Maybe, actually, no, no, we don't. The seed of greed. I think that was actually the last treasure above-ground. Oh, yeah! So we literally just... Okay, we can spend the rest of the day just exploring trying to find that last dungeon. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's just here? I didn't even notice. Hiding in plain sight. Wait. From all appearances, this is a particularly frightening crevice. The data is horrifying. Courage is one thing, but recklessness is something else. Perhaps we should turn back? Well, if you still wish to enter, keep your daring in check and just focus on surviving. Oh, that was a hazelnut. And this is the Cavern of Chaos. Despite that one sounding like the nastiest of the caves, it's arguably the easiest. Alright, well... We are officially done with Wistful Wild, except for those holes, so... I guess we're gonna regroup, get our Pikmin together, enter the Cavern of Chaos, and then end the stream. And then we might be able to finish up the rest of the main story next stream, if we can clear all of these horrifying holes. I feel like the Hole of Heroes, it doesn't sound that hard. It should have been called the Hole of Horrors. That's what I would have named it. There we go. Once again, I believe we're going to go in with, uh... I was about to be... Where are all the rest of my Pikmin? Oh no, I left them somewhere! Oh yeah, I left them back at HQ, because they carried all of the nuts back there. Oh, I'm hyped too. I have no idea what to expect, but it's going to be great. Get our army together. Well, we cl well no, we will not clear all of Wistful Wild in one day because we had to take a day for the Doomsday apparatus. I can't spoil anything because I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, nobody else in Twitch chat, if you know, don't don't spoil anything. All right, Cavern of Chaos, here we go. <laughs> we'll enter here, and then we're ending the stream, because actually, I can feel my voice starting to go a little bit. Saving. Well, I'll well, be. We made incredible progress this stream. Cavern of Chaos, sub-level one. This is where... Uh, I don't even want to say the kitty gloves come off, because the kitty gloves have been off for a while, but... The last three holes in the game in Wistful Wild are going to test everything I've got. It's going to put my knowledge of Pikmin 2 to the absolute limits. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. We'll be doing that next time. So, if if people would prefer that I stream on Sunday instead of Saturday, like, it's no real sweat off my back. I'm happy to stream either day. So, if more people can make it to Sunday stream, I'll start streaming Sunday now instead. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave, put a community post on my YouTube account, and I'll take a poll and see. But yeah, because we had a good turnout today, and I was very happy. This is a great stream. I 
really didn't rage that much at all, which is amazing. And we're, we're at the end of the game now. We just got the free final caves. I mean, granted, the free final caves might take two streams in and of themselves. Because these caves are long and hard. But we might be able to finish everything up next stream. It might be a longer than usual stream, but I feel like it's either going to be a longer than usual stream or a normal stream followed by a shorter stream. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait until next week, I suppose. Thank you all for joining in. It was great talking with you all. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow night, we will be continuing Fire Emblem 6 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So tune in for that if you want. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining in. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless. See you next time, everybody.